One Greensboro musician is really getting into the holiday spirit. Clay Howard wrote his very own holiday song called My Favorite Christmas. Eric Chilton dives into its lyrics and the inspiration behind them. It's gonna be my favorite Christmas, there's no doubt in my mind. It's gonna be my favorite Christmas, the Santa Red you mind. All right, welcome to Christmas Chat. Just kidding. Although I would love to have my own talk show, never got it. Clay <laughs> Howard with us, and uh, so tell me about this song, because how did how it came about? Because you've been a musician for most of your life, so yeah, I've been playing for 35 years or so. Um, I was at home, I think it was a Saturday morning, and Ken Hauser, who owns WTOB Radio over in Winston Salem, sent a, a little Facebook message out to some local guys: Doug Davis, myself, Jerry Chapman. I texted back, "Hey man, I'm off today. I'll send you something in a little while." So about an hour later, I had this song finished. Another I got to stay up to midnight for this year I got you. What I love about it is because you take me back with the toys that you talk about. I mean, describe the song for people that haven't heard it. So in the song, it's called My Favorite Christmas. In the song, I, uh, I reference past Christmases, the, fav the good things that happened, like an evil Knievel that I got one year. <laughs> Loved it. Trying to bring that nostalgia in that Christmas brings and the memories, the good memories you have of Christmas and then tie that into this could be my favorite Christmas. You know? I always laugh because the evil Knievel never worked the way it did in the commercial. No. Remember you rev it up and then it <laughs> <laughs> But there's something about that sound. There is, <laughs> there is. So it really is all about nostalgia. Oh yeah, the whole thing's about that, yeah. Um, so uh, for people our age, we're not saying what our age is, but um, you're taking them back, right? Describe right. that a little bit. Right, so yeah, um, the Evil Knievel stuff comes from when we were kids, uh, five or six for me when it came out, same for you, I believe. Then in the video, we made sure to tie some of the toys that I still have. We, you know, it opens up with some Rock'em Sock'em robots and things <laughs> like that. But yeah, just really trying to bring, you know, that's what, when we think about Christmas and the good feelings we have, it's not about the stuff we get, it's about the memories that we have of that stuff. So I was just trying to tie that in. And it takes us back, it's just a simpler time, you right. know, right? right. Um, I can't believe, because you said you threw it together in basically a day. Right, yeah, about an hour and a half or so. Um, I sent it out to a friend of mine who ended up doing the video, his name's Chad Perry, and I wasn't going to release this thing, I wasn't going to send it to the radio station, I thought this is too silly. He goes, man, this is good, I want to shoot a video. I'm like, well, if you'll shoot a video, I'll release it. Now you, know? you got a music so, video. So now, so yeah, we spent a couple hours laughing, and, <laughs> and the video, I hope, shows that. So. so the end goal or hope is what? Just, you know, let people, if it lightens somebody three minutes of somebody's life, it's a successful song, you That's know. It's perfect. It's perfect. Yeah. I love it. Say so happy holidays. Merry Christmas from Chloe. <laughs> Merry Christmas.